Temp or superior? Temp or superior? What's up YouTube? I'm TD Miller and I'm coming right at you with another comparison. I'm not sponsored to make this video, but likes and comments give me a warm feeling inside. Start out with the Temp 2, which was released last year. It's a nicely cushioned trail running shoe with 29 millimeters of stack height and not too heavy with approximately 280 grams. There's plenty of padding and has some moderate protection from any flying rocks or killer squirrels. Nothing too crazy, it's fairly simple, but here it's nice and padded. Tongue is fairly padded, but still thin, not too heavy. The Innerflex also allows you to run nimbly over the trails, but the lugs are pretty basic, nothing too aggressive. There's not too much traction when you're running on slick surfaces, so that's not that great, but in dry surfaces, it's okay. I like the fit. Uh, this is a 10 and a half, and I felt that the shoe was wide enough for me. I did read about people preferring the Tim 1 or Tim 1.5 being slightly wider. This one seemed to be less wide, but I liked it. My toes still managed to splay out. The upper is kind of thick, but still breathable. Water would come in and seep out easily. And of course, zero drop and have the contact midsole. The Superior 5 is a lightweight and fairly minimalistic compared to the Temp. It only has 21 millimeters of stack height and this was released this year. It still has enough padding around the ankle. Tongue is padded enough, but it's very lightweight. There's very little protection around the toes, a little bit harder here, a little bit enforced here. But other than that, a very thin upper as well, but nothing that will protect you from anything. The tongue is unique in a way that it wraps around your foot. So the tongue is completely attached here and kind of wrap the upper over your foot like a burrito. It's the only shoe I've ever seen like this and I had no trouble with a fit. As you can maybe see, the upper is very thin. I'm really curious how it's gonna handle anything if it were to ever get snagged by a branch or twig, which of course, Whenever you were to walk through a puddle or through a stream, the water would definitely seep out immediately. This shoe is also fairly nimble. No inner flex, but it still lets you be quite flexible in them. But that's of course because of the low stack height. Also the Quantic midsole. And again, I wouldn't trust these shoes when on wet surfaces. Ultra is kind of notorious for not being that great on wet surfaces. Both shoes are U-shaped and I didn't have any issue getting heel lock in either of them. Heel strikers be aware though. I'm notorious for being a heel striker. I'm sorry, I have to work on that. And the Superior will punish you if you were to heel strike. Of course, when you focus on your technique and your form, you will eventually get tired. You will eventually forget and you will eventually start heel striking again. And that's where the Superior will punish you. I was running downhill and I wasn't paying attention to my form and I was heel striking until I landed on a little stone right on my heel and that went straight through to my heel and it hurt like hell. And it hurt like hell. And it hurt like hell. Be aware. The Timp lets me forget about my form and lets me get away with it, but that's not what I would advise. Do however prefer the Timp when it comes to long distances, uh, simply grinding out in the smiles without needing to think too much about hurting my feet. And a Superior, just like the Escalante for road running, is great for making your feet stronger. But so far, I would only run up to 15K in them. Anything longer, my form will deteriorate and I think my feet will cramp up a little bit but I'm working on getting my feet stronger. So that's the main advantage of getting stronger feet. I almost forgot about the removable stone guard in the superior. So yeah, this is basically it. It's supposed to protect you from any sharp objects you may step on, but I'm unsure and I'm unwilling to test that out. I'll keep them in for just in case though. As for the size and the width, the superior is slightly more curved and curves a lot quicker, but they are both foot shaped. I wear a 10 and a half them and a 10 for them, simply because I think the 10 and a half is slightly too big and the 10 feels perfect for the superior. The temp has this gator trap, of course, at the front. However, the superior does not, so I'm guessing they want you to attach it to the front lace, but they still have the gator trap at the back. I've almost run 400 kilometers in the temp and it's starting to break on the inside. I think I can still get a couple runs in them, but they are breaking and they, that will cause for some blisters. But then again, I am really happy that I have the superiors and I think they will be my go-to shoe for, uh, for now for my next few runs, just because it's nice and playful. Thank you for watching. Let me know in the comments down below if I missed anything or if you have any questions regarding either of these shoes. I'm always happy to talk about Ultra. See you guys, bye.